Man, as if I need any excuse to eat even more pizza, well, today I got the perfect one. Because today is Bitcoin Pizza Day. 14 years ago was that infamous day that two Papa John's pizzas were bought for 10,000 Bitcoin. Yeah, and today's value, those two pizzas worth over $700 million. Jeez. Check and see if there's a pizza party around you today being sponsored and put on by the Pizza Dow. So go to globalpizzaparty.xyz and see if there's a pizza party by you. I can almost guarantee you there is one. And then celebrate this day the right way, guys with a pizza in your face. Okay, now make sure you're subscribed here to Inside NFTs on YouTube. We are getting really close to 2,000 subscribers, so thank you guys for that. And also, make sure you're following me over on X. You can find me at Huda underscore idiot. I'll keep you posted on showtimes, including when our next afternoon show is, which it actually might be this afternoon, guys. Again, follow me here to keep up to date on that. Now, some quick macro stories before we get to the NFT market. Guys, Uniswap responded to the SEC's Wells notice, and their response is that their protocol is in full compliance with U.S. law, but also that just a fraction of their business is even with customers here in the United States. This is the SEC overstepping, which is exactly what the SEC does. And then fam, another major milestone for crypto being driven by this political season, this presidential run, because Donald Trump is now the first ever presidential candidate to accept donations to his campaign in crypto. Again, doesn't matter how you feel about the guy, this is a milestone for crypto. Now right to the NFT market, and what do you know? A little rebranding of the indexes here. So as of now, we're looking at the freshly rebranded crypto Crypto Slam 500 NFT index. And you can see this morning, we are starting the day in the red with the NFT market losing 0.54% of its value here in the past 24 hours. And that may have a little something to do with crypto. You can see Bitcoin is down 1.34%. ETH still up though almost half a percent. And then Solana down almost 1.5%. Now guys, it does sound like the Ethereum ETFs are going to get approved this week. But while we're waiting for them, we're keeping our eyes locked on the Bitcoin ETFs, which yesterday had a very big day of inflows. Although two of the ETFs actually had outflows flows outpacing inflows. It was not enough to make a dent in those inflows. And then NFT sales yesterday, 21.4 million. That is cross-chain sales. And we were up in sellers, buyers, total transactions and trade profits heading in the right direction, though still negative yesterday. You can see negative 360,000. And then staying on Crypto Slam to see who is moving this market. We've got the General Ordinals collection there at the top. That's followed by the Red Hot Milady Maker collection. Then we have D Market, Crypto Punks, Fantasy Top, The Captains, Mad Lads, Pudgy Penguins, Node Monkeys, and Redacted Romilio Babies rounds out your top 10. And Ethereum is your top blockchain by sales volume, followed by Bitcoin, then Solana. And then your top NFT sales here in the past 24 hours, a couple of crypto punks at the top of this rankings. Notice the price of punks following the fallout from the Super Punk World Collection. Now guys, Animoca had a big announcement yesterday with details on their Mocha token allocation. 10% of that supply is going to Mochaverse NFT holders, not counting the NFTs in the Mochaverse treasury, which is actually huge. They also detailed their vesting schedule and right now people are making all kinds of price predictions on what this token drop is going to be worth. And today at 10 a.m. Eastern time, well, the Mochaverse team is going to be live on Spaces talking all about this Mocha token. I'm sure you're excited to catch the replay for this. You're going to be busy watching Chain Reactor at the same time, I'm sure. But I'll tell you what, during our live show, we're probably going to tune into this for a bit, see what Yatsu has to say about this token. Now moving on, but staying in the Animoca family here, guys, we have Open Campus who announced their first decentralized education node sale. Details on the node sale sale coming in June. But guys, prepare for this. This is going to be a monster. And you're going to want to tune into Chain Reactor because this morning I'll be sharing my thoughts on why decentralization is so important for the world of education. I got a lot of thoughts about this, so make sure you tune in. Now moving on to the Blast ecosystem, the Blast X account reported that their total value locked is $3.2 billion, which differs from the Blast website, which says $2.8 billion, which also differs from Flipside's database, which says it's $2.9 billion. And that also differs from DeFi Llama, which says it is $1.9 billion in TVL. Working for a data company, I can tell you how extremely difficult this is to get the data accurate. And really what you're seeing here is different platforms measuring different things. Pac-Man, the founder of Blur and Blast, weighed in and said that is exactly why you're seeing those different totals. So Pac-Man's sticking with the $3.2 billion TVL, but he said even that is probably smaller than what's actually locked. It's not counting every asset. And then still in the world of Blast, guys, the Pew token hit the jackpot yesterday not once, but two times. So those days of a product or platform hitting the jackpot and then holders dumping. Well, I think those days are over now because now you see the rewards can just keep on coming. I'll tell you this, that Pac-Man guy, pretty damn clever. And then final blast update here. We have two brand new fantasy top tournaments kicking off today. We've got the rares only tournament starting here in 11 hours. And just an hour after that, the common only 15 star tournament kicks off. I'm expecting the lowest participation we've seen yet in tournaments because these are both kind of tricky to enter. Not everyone has the rares. And then on the common tournament, I imagine most people have to go shop 
dropping to buy new cards to participate. And I don't know if they're willing to do that right now. We'll keep our eyes on this. Now in the world of hacks and scams and malicious attacks, guys, yesterday CoffeeZilla put out a video calling out the AI rabbit product. You guys remember this stupid thing which I thought was sus to begin with? Well, CoffeeZilla uncovered that the founder of Rabbit Inc. was actually behind an NFT project called Gamma, which also was a scam. So I imagine the fallout for Rabbit is just starting again. The product is junk, and now we see there's a history of junk coming from that founder. I'll keep you posted here. Now a quick update on that Gala token hack. Guys, most of those tokens that were stolen have actually been returned, now in the form of ETH. At this point, it does seem that the FBI and the Gala team knows who the attacker is, so they're probably in communication, they're working out some kind of deal, but as of right now, sent back about $22 million worth of ETH back to the Gala wallet. Like always, I will keep you updated on this. And then our final story, guys, comes from the Jupiter platform over on Solana. These guys are looking to have the largest on-chain market for, well, I mean, absolutely everything. Look, they're talking meme coins, RWAs, stocks. I mean it, when I say everything, they want everything on-chain and they want it on their platform. So the TLDR here is Jupiter's put together this super team of investors and builders. And I'll tell you what, this does make my spidey senses tingle. So we'll keep our eyes on this for you as well. Now remember, we're going deeper into all these topics and much, much more on Chain Reactor over on the SlamX official YouTube channel. Also streaming on X. That show coming live at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Can't wait to see you guys there. And a reminder again, guys, make sure you're following me on X so I can keep you updated on the time of the afternoon show. It may be today. It may be tomorrow. You got to be following along to find out. But tomorrow morning, I'll be back with your NFT market update. We'll get into all the latest happenings. Remember, if it's happening in NFTs, I'm bringing you inside. Until the next time, I'll see you.